Hello, and welcome to A Skinny Guy Finally Eats. I am a skinny guy, in case you can't tell, and I like to eat, actually, but throughout my whole life, people told me that I need to eat more. So I figured I would eat on camera. And if we're eating on camera, we're gonna taste a few things that are, you know, kind of iconic tastes or big brands or new things, new flavors to try to figure out what is good and what is not. Today, what we have is a selection of meats and cheeses from Harry and David. Harry and David, if you don't know, is based out of Oregon. It's one of the uh, more popular ones, at least. Uh, Rogue Brewery, you might be familiar with. Uh, Tillamook, Nike. There's a lot of uh, Oregon brands. Harry and David was founded back in 1910. Neither a Harry nor a David, it was their father, Samuel Rosenberg, who had actually founded the company. It was a premium fruit company. Their pears are what they're most known for. You see them wrapped in gold or silver. They're, they're really good. They're a little overpriced, but they're, you know, big, thick, juicy, organic pears. Harry and David's now actually owned by 1-800-Flowers, who also owns Fruit Bouquet Company, Sherry's Berries, Cheryl's Cookies, delivery type service. They own a bunch of those. There's also a really good clip of Broad City where they have, they call it Larry and David, but they get a vast get on accident they start going through it because it's the fancy thing to do they have a Larry and David party So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this meat and cheese cut up, taste it, and figure out if this is worth. This is an $80 assortment to get it shipped here. There's three different types of salami and then three different types of cheeses. We're gonna give them a try and see if it's worth the buy. So we have three meats and three cheeses all sliced up and ready to go. Whenever I tell people that I like cheese, they always try to get one of those fancy like Hickory Farms tile, Hillshire Farms, whatever they are, <laughs> those cheese things for Christmas for me. Now, I'm not usually a fan of those because they're not actually real cheese. They're cheese flavored products kind of gross and so I always end up with all these ridiculous fancy cheeses in my fridge that I never eat and I just give them to other people which I think is what a lot of this stuff comes from it's all these fancy cheeses and sausages that people just give to others and then they just make that a tradition it was like a dare so let's try out what these cheeses are one of them is an apple flavored Bella Vitani gold sertori let's find out it's not bad kind of a sharp white cheddar. And we have the apple walnut smoke from Beehive. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more, there's a little bit of sweetness to it, but it's mostly the wood, it's the apple wood. So all these sausages are Italian pork sausages. Probably didn't see it peel off, but they all have a wrapping on them. I'm not a big fan of sausage casing, but I can avoid it. We have the Face Rock Creamery uh, Peppercorn Harvest Cheddar. This is a lot of really strong herb to it. And the final sausage is the Toscano Fennel Sausage. Hmm. So overall, I would say it was a little bit higher end than the Hillshire Farms that you would get at the store. It's good. I wouldn't put it at $80 for that, but it's definitely a worthwhile gift if it's somebody you like that really likes Harry and David. Personally, I would recommend the pears, but overall, it's a decent, although overpriced, uh, luxury buy. That is Harry and David. If you enjoyed what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit like, reply, leave a comment, do whatever you want to do, and stay tuned because we're going to have more eating videos throughout the year. Thanks.